We arrived in Vigo, which is the main commercial fishing port of Northwest Spain, a stunningly beautiful place. Perfect for everyone to gather, to head out on Expedition Save the Med. The welcoming from the community, policymakers, press, educators, general public, scientists, fishermen. When you can get all those people coming together, you get this energy, you get this optimism, it's the spirit of collaboration, and uh, it's really exciting. This is the old search. Old search. We are getting uh, ready to get underway from the way the reparación is. We came to Europe to study one of the nine white shark populations, one of the most critically endangered ones, the Mediterranean white shark. From an exploration standpoint, when you begin one of these new puzzles, it is by far the most exciting part of the project because no one knows what we're going to find. You're truly pioneering work that's fundamentally important to the future. Real exploration right here off the coast of Western Europe. The reason why we're not starting the project in the Med is we've learned in the other white shark populations we've been on over the years, which is four other populations of the nine, that the easiest place to find the animals and have a shot is in their foraging areas. But there's been sightings in here along North Spain when the bluefin are moving through. They have these spectacular canyons and bottom structure here. So the idea is if the white sharks are exiting the Med, following the bluefin across northern Spain. Then we'll slide up to Brittany, France, and leave the bluefin and slide into the first colonies of seals. And then finally, the next expedition, move up to Ireland and focus primarily on the seals. The thing is, is where is that? We just don't know. So this is the first trip to try to figure that out. When we pulled out of Vigo and started working our first day, it was pretty spectacular. An unbelievable whale show. Seeing bluefin, seeing lots of porpoise was uplifting. And usually life begets life. A really good start to the trip. You feel lots of different ways. You feel excited, you feel vulnerable, you feel nervous, you feel optimistic. The key is just to stay focused and keep moving forward one inch at a time. Yeah, gotcha. Hey, something just pulled this uh, bait down and held it down for a minute, but it was just kind of gnawing on it. It wasn't really getting. Okay. Well, we're only a few hundred yards off your bow here. I can yeah. see all the blues right now. This is going to be an epic challenge, but we're excited. We're prepared. You know, we have a lot of experience, and it will be a test that will be met. Yeah.